Bead placement. Zone 1, the extension edge. Using a medium wet mix, place the bead in the middle of zone 1, up to but not on the free edge line. Use the tip of the brush, lightly press from side to side to evenly distribute the product. As you lightly press, start pushing and guiding the product up into the corners to form the smile line. The smile line should be slightly past the free edge line. Smooth down over the entire extension edge. Remember to have a light touch when you first start pressing down the bead. As the product starts to harden, press more firmly. Clean the brush on a towel and taper it into a point. While the product is still movable, back brush the smile line to make it crisp and clean. Zone 2, the stress area. Using a medium wet mix, place the bead in the middle of the nail plate next to the smile line. Do not overlap the smile line. Just back the bead up slightly so that when you press down, the bead will meet the smile line. Angle your brush, bringing your handle up just a little to taper the edge of the bead closest to the cuticle. Lightly feather the remaining bead over zone 1. Don't drag too soon, as you may drag over too much pink and camouflage your crisp white line. Zone 3, the cuticle area. Using a medium wet mix, place the bead in the middle of zone 3 on the remaining uncoated natural nail. Be very careful when pressing the bead that you do not allow the flags of the brush to touch soft tissue or cuticle. Your brush should be at a 45 degree angle to the nail. Angle the tip of the brush to make thin and taper the edges of the bead. Thin, even coverage in this zone will produce natural looking enhancements, which are flexible and resilient. Be sure to leave a tiny free margin around the sidewalls and cuticle area. This will prevent lifting and overexposure.